Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Patrick. So in this video, I want to teach you about the different between map method and for each method in JavaScript. All right, let's get started. One of the most common data structure in JavaScript is array. And we often need to process array elements and to iterate through our arrays. JavaScript provides us the most loved functions that might be map and for each. They're both introduced in ES5. They almost look identical, but there are some difference between them. But before we jump in, I want you guys to know what are map and for each method. So for each method allows you to execute a callback function by iterating through each element of an array. Always remember that it doesn't return anything and if you try to get the value, it will be undefined. And the next method is the map method. The map method is almost identical to for each method and executes a callback function to loop over an array easily. But the difference is it returns a new array always. So that means it also doesn't change our source array. A great thing about the map method is that it's also chainable, meaning that you can call a number of map operations in a row. Differences and summary. Both methods help us to iterate through our array and the choice between map and for each will depend on your use case. So this is the picture that you can compare for each method with map method. The for each method return value undefined and the original array of for each method is not modified. The new array is not created after the end of a method call. And the last one is for each method is not chainable. All right, next. Let's talk about the map method. So the map method return value. The new array of the map method will be created based on your callback function. The original array is not modified. The new array is not created after the end of a method call. And the last one is map method is chainable. So if you are planning to alter the array, we should use map method since it doesn't change the original array and returns a new array. But if you want, need to return array and just want to loop through all elements of an array, you can use the for each method or even a for loop. Alright guys, this is all about the difference between map method and for each method. I hope this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys soon in the next video.